the Bulls. They will host the Bulls. And you know, Jose Fernandez, he has done such a great program with this uh, South Florida team. He's got their team and their program in the top 20 in both polls. What a job he's done. Postseasons 12, continues to win, recruit good players. His passion and excitement that he's brought to that program, that university is just tremendous. The South Florida Bulls finished last season as a ranked team. But the progress the program has made may best be proven by starting a season ranked with five returning starters from a team that just missed the Sweet 16. Led by the winningest coach in program history and All-American candidate Courtney Williams giving opposing teams nightmares. She's a top 10 pick in the WNBA, Courtney Williams. The excitement of last March carried right over into the new season with the on-campus buzz spilling over and onto the court. Alicia Jenkins yeah. wide open, swipes in for a layup down the right side. At the helm of this ship of success, Jose Fernandez. USF's head coach, Jose Fernandez, now in his 16th season, 27 and 8 last year, 15 and 3 in conference play. 24-15. Springfield backdoor pass to Williams, who's back in, attacks the rack, scooping shot is in. Crowd rises to their feet. 101 points for USF as the final seconds tick off. A massive offensive effort for the Bulls, and that'll do it. USF wins 101 to 79 over Penn State. USF was stacking wins, their ultimate goal, but they were also setting individual records. Jenkins is a rebounding machine. The 6'1 senior out of Statesboro, Georgia. Mack throws it up, no good. Jenkins with the rebound, and no one has done it better. 1,078, Alicia Jenkins stands alone as the all-time leading rebounder in USF history. While everyone else was getting ready for the holidays, the Bulls prepared for undefeated Oklahoma State. Another test in a very difficult pre-conference schedule. The depth of the team was on full display. Courtney Williams had her ninth straight game of 15 or more points. It helped produce an impressive 22-point win, not only handing the Cowgirls their first loss, but propelling the Bulls to 17th in the USA Today coaches poll, matching their best ranking in school history. And a beautiful make once again by Laura Ferreira, number 20. Christmas break and then a road trip to eighth ranked Mississippi State. The Bulls from the University of South Florida at seven and two already wins over the likes of Oklahoma State, Penn State, shot and rebound taken by Alicia Jenkins, number 24 in green. You're gonna say that a lot today, Paul. Alicia Jenkins is fourth in the country in rebounding. Jenkins is going to increase her stock as far as being drafted in the WNBA. She has tremendous energy, a great motor. The rugged non-conference schedule set the Bulls up nicely for 2016 and the start of conference play. Happy New Year, everyone. We're in Greenville, North Carolina, where the East Carolina Pirates host the nationally ranked South Florida Bulls. And that's great coaching, attacking a 1-3-1. WNBA scouts today are going to like that play. A big-time rebound, keep it in your hands, get to the basket. That's what great scorers do. Courtney Williams, the fourth leading scorer in the country. Taylor spins, puts it in. Tied up at 59, only 10 seconds left. This team had been through last year's NCAA tournament run, a preseason trip to Spain, and a strong non-conference schedule. Coach Fernandez and his staff had prepared them well for this situation. 11 seconds left in a tied game on the road. It was time to see what lessons they had learned. And Jenkins will inbound. Straight field. Courtney Williams, the ball's in her hands. She'll drive, the shot, got it! And there you go, the dagger, the All-American, and Courtney Williams with the big shot for the Bulls. A great start to the new year and just a glimpse of how good this team can be and already is.